Queen Elizabeth and Meghan Markle probably have a complicated relationship, especially since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their plans to step away from their traditional royal roles. Here's the truth about Queen Elizabeth II and Meghan Markle's relationship. Before she fell in love with Prince Harry and transformed from an actress to the Duchess of Sussex seemingly overnight, Meghan Markle was just an American gal chasing her dreams. So you can imagine the nervousness Markle must have felt upon realizing she'd be meeting the Queen of England. Fortunately, according to a November 2017 BBC interview with Markle and Prince Harry, meeting Queen Elizabeth II could not have gone over any better, with Markle saying, to be able to meet her through Harry's lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother, all of those layers have been so important for me. I had such a deep understanding and, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And, and we've had a really, she's, she's an incredible woman. Sounds like Queen Elizabeth and Meghan Markle's meeting was a powerful moment. In October 2019, the documentary special Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, aired in the UK, providing a behind-the-scenes look at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 10-day tour of Africa. In the eye-opening documentary, journalist Tom Bradby talked with Meghan Markle about the toll the spotlight had taken on her as she tried to navigate both royal life and becoming a first-time mother. Because not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's, uh, it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. Speaking with Entertainment Tonight, royal commentator Victoria Arbiter said Queen Elizabeth II likely wouldn't offer a public display of support for Markle, saying, The Queen has always said, never wear private grief on a public sleeve. While I do think she will be sympathetic to what Harry and Meghan are going through, I think she would like to offer support from behind the scenes, without airing too much for public appetite. Everyone wants to make a good impression on their in-laws, especially if their grandmother-in-law just so happens to be the Queen of England. According to sources, Markle wasted no time in earning the Queen's respect. In June 2018, just one month after Prince Harry and Markle's royal wedding, a source told Us Weekly that the prince's grandmother was impressed with his new bride. The anonymous source claimed, Meghan's enthusiasm towards living a life of service and humanitarianism excites the Queen, and it's just the type of vim and vigor she likes to see in someone. In October 2019, a royal insider dished to Us Weekly that Queen Elizabeth II continued to be pleased with her new granddaughter-in-law, saying, She's seeing a more mature, responsible side of Harry, and she's really impressed with how Meghan's upped her game. Sounds like Queen Elizabeth and Meghan Markle hit it off. While Meghan Markle's former career as an American actress familiarized her with being in the public eye, nothing could have prepared her for having the world watch as she married into the British royal family and learned to navigate her new role as the Duchess of Sussex. However, according to royal commentator Duncan Larkham, Queen Elizabeth II made it a priority to ensure Markle felt like a welcome part of the royal family. Larkham told Fabulous Digital in August 2019, the Queen, last year in the first few months of Meghan's entry into the royal family, made a particular and slightly unusual effort to welcome her in. Larkham revealed that the Queen had requested Markle accompany her to various events in order to, quote, signal the fact that she was welcoming her into the royal family. According to the royal commentator, part of the Queen's insistence on publicly welcoming her new granddaughter-in-law to the royal family could possibly be traced to, quote, the lessons of the past where Princess Diana pretty much felt like an outsider in the royal family. You don't have to be a royal expert to know that Queen Elizabeth II has an affinity for corgis, which reportedly started when she was gifted a Pembroke Welsh corgi for her 18th birthday. That corgi, named Susan, would go on to become the common ancestor for each of the famous corgis owned and loved by the Queen throughout her years on the throne. In a November 2017 BBC interview, Prince Harry revealed that Meghan Markle had received the Royal Corgi's stamp of approval. And the, and the Corgi's took to you straight away. <laughs> That's true. For the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in absolutely <laughs> Just nothing. laying on Just my feet during tea, it was very sweet. And, and in an adorable turn of events, it seems Queen Elizabeth II also gets along well with Markle's pup, a beagle named Guy. So, did their shared love of dogs help bring Queen Elizabeth and Meghan Markle together? According to Royal Insiders, 
Queen Elizabeth and Meghan Markle formed a bond in much a shorter time span than the Queen did with Kate Middleton. In fact, as noted by The Sun, Middleton reportedly didn't meet the Queen until 2008, when she was five years into her relationship with Prince William. Two years later, Middleton and Prince William were engaged to be married. Considering Markle's relationship with Prince Harry progressed at a much faster rate, it only makes sense that the former actress's relationship with her royal grandmother-in-law did as well. Less than a month after her wedding to Prince Harry, it was announced that Markle would be joining Queen Elizabeth II at multiple engagements, including a theater opening, a Chester Town Hall lunch, and the Mercy Gateway Bridge opening. Royal commentator Duncan Larkham told Fabulous Digital that Markle was even invited aboard the Queen's Royal Train to attend the June 2018 engagements. Calling the train ride unusual, Larkham revealed, I'm 99% sure the Queen has never afforded that offer to Kate. While Meghan Markle's relationship with her in-laws has long been fraught with rumors of a royal rift, there was once a time when the former actress was said to be on very good terms with the royal family, especially her grandmother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth II, as well as sister-in-law Kate Middleton. That was fortunate, as both before and after her wedding to Prince Harry, media outlets were buzzing with reports that Markle and her father were no longer speaking, with Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, reportedly saying in an interview, "'She'd be nothing without me. I made her the duchess she is today.'" The royals own me. Um, Harry owes me. Um, Meghan owes me. Of course, the public interest in her familial relationships didn't exactly make for a smooth, drama-free transition into royal life. But according to royal insiders, Markle had shoulders to lean on in Queen Elizabeth II and Kate Middleton. Robert Lacey, historical consultant for Netflix's The Crown, told People magazine in August 2018, What's characterized these months are the two great relationships that she has struck up with the Queen and with Kate Middleton. They seem to be her closest friends and partners in the official setup. In April 2019, The Sun published a report alleging that Queen Elizabeth II had banned Meghan Markle wearing jewelry pieces famously donned by the late Princess Diana. Adding to the largely negative UK media coverage of the Duchess of Sussex, the report quoted a royal insider as saying, it is at the discretion of the Queen and trusted advisors which items in the royal collection she chooses to loan out and to whom. The so-called insider purported that the Queen was, quote, not impressed with some of Meghan's demands, telling The Sun, As a result, Buckingham Palace has decided that not all items from the Queen's royal collection will be opened up to Meghan. However, according to a royal insider who spoke to Express in April 2019, the claims of a jewelry feud were false. An anonymous source told Express, It is worth noting that the Queen lent Meghan a tiara for the wedding, gave her earrings for her first royal engagement, and had just agreed to partly fund her new household. While Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's January 2020 announcement that they would be stepping back as senior members of the royal family took most people by surprise, some royal watchers had suspected the rumored royal family rift was reaching its boiling point. And when Queen Elizabeth II delivered her annual Christmas Day speech in 2019, viewers couldn't help but notice Her Royal Highness had chosen not to include a photo of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, among photos of Prince William and Kate Middleton, Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince Philip, and the Queen's late father, King George VI. Royal expert Anna Whitelock told BBC News that the Queen likely didn't mean to snub Prince Harry and Markle with her photo choices. He explained, you could read into that simply, she is focused on her father and then the direct heirs to the throne. While Queen Elizabeth II may not have meant any harm with the photos, it's worth noting the Queen did include a picture of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex during her 2018 Christmas Day speech. In an interview with Today, royal expert Victoria Arbiter said Queen Elizabeth II was likely blindsided when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle took to Instagram to announce they'd be stepping down as senior members of the royal family. Arbiter revealed, Why is it that they didn't, like, bring the Queen into the loop? I think that's one of the big things. Why did they leave her out? That's the million-dollar question. However, according to journalist Tom Bradby, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had informed the royal family of their desire to become financially independent. As Bradby wrote for the Sunday Times, Prince Harry was encouraged to write down, quote, 
some ideas for discussion, despite his concern the document would be leaked to the press. And according to Bradby, the private document was leaked to the press, prompting Prince Harry and Markle to take swift action and make their own announcement. No matter how it went down, it couldn't have helped Meghan's relationship with the Queen. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.